Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we'll see how to add a buy button um, to any other website being a WordPress or, or a standard HTML website that you have. Um, so let's go directly in and um, make sure you uh, you have the buy button active. So let's just add the channel. You have to go in um, in your settings sales channels and go to buy button add channel yes just confirm and now we have the buy button so let's add a buy button just click on create um, let's start with with a product we're gonna do a collection after um, so pick any product that you have um, make sure here you, you have two scrolls it's a little bit weird um, this is to scroll in your products and the one on the far right is to scroll the window itself um, so after you selected a product click select um, you have uh, you have the option here to change the product uh, you have the option to include all the variants you have or only one perfect um, so we're gonna include all of them you have two options for customization um, you can display all the information you see on the right and by the way this is your preview window so this is what it's gonna look like you uh, you can have the product image price and button as you have it right here or you can have just the buy button um, and again the buy button you can have it with the variants which doesn't make much sense like this or uh, you can have it uh, you can have just one of the variants selected um, I prefer Let's let's leave the the, the 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 image and yeah let's leave the image and one of the variant. After that, you can select and customize your uh, the, the color of your button. So that's uh, that's easy to do. Let's in the website that I'm gonna be working, I'm gonna be something on on the red. So let's let's go with something like this. Changing the text color. Um, and background of uh, of the button of the of the whole element if um, if you're not on a page that it's white already or it's 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 gray for whatever reason you want to change it you can go ahead and uh, and change it but in this case I'm just gonna remove it um, we can leave it as uh, as it is transparent then you have to select um, then you have to select what uh, the buy now button uh, will do where we would link to so it can link to the checkout directly it can link to the cart or you can have a, a product model which is like a pop-up um, and and after that you're gonna have the the button what the text should say um, just buy or, or, or whatever you want to do with that so let's see what the three options will do uh, check out if you uh, if you click on the buy button will open a new window and direct you to the checkout page with uh, with just that one product that you have if um, if you select to have the cart it will uh, it will link you to the cart so uh, we're gonna have to test it on on our WordPress site in order to see exactly how it will behave and uh, the last one will be the the, the pop-up uh, what's important to notice here is that you don't have the buy button anymore so even the picture and the and the text is uh, it's clickable it's uh, it has a link because the other ones you cannot click on the image or the text it's really just the buy button but with a pop-up you can actually click on it and a pop-up window will show up 
where you have uh, the description price a little bit of a text and then you have your buy button from what I notice uh, even if you have multiple images it's still gonna show only one um, and I'm don't think there's a I don't think there's a way right now to add multiple images. So from now it's taking just one uh, one image. Um, so let's let's pause this. Um, when when you're done, just click generate embedded code. And uh, what you can do is just click directly on copy embedded code to clip board then we're going to be able to paste it uh, wherever we need this uh, this buy button so let's assume i'm working on uh, on wordpress if you go inside inside of wordpress go in one of your pages here i just made one that it's test uh, by button and it looks something like this so it's 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 blank there's nothing on it let's um let's go ahead and uh and try I'll put it in text uh, but let's see if, it, if we just paste it in in the visual if it's still gonna work let's do the view page no so you definitely need to to, to add it to the to the text so let's remove this let's go in text and then paste it over here. Text will be like uh, like your HTML code. So let's update this. Let's open it in a new window. It will uh, it will take a few seconds to uh, to load, um, but you you have it here. So let's. Um, this we selected to be the, the product model uh, so that will be the pop-up let's uh, let's add another one with with the cart let's change the product let's see here copy three whatever let's do this Let's do cart. By the way, it will if you're adding multiple products, multiple buy buttons, uh, it will always remember uh, the the last customization you did. So it will be easier for you to repeat uh, the same the the same settings with different products. So let's add this one also. Generate embedded code. <clears throat> same thing. It's not copied. Let's go over here. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. Um, let's try and add one after the other, and see what we get. And I would like to add a third one where we have, uh, where we're gonna have the uh, the checkout directly. <clears throat> This was copy two, so let's do copy three. <clears throat> so as I said, it remembers the last one we used, but we actually want to try out checkout. <clears throat> copy this one too. Let's paste it here, update. And let's refresh. So obviously, this uh, my page is not set up properly to um, <coughs> to um, to show and have a proper layout uh, in, for this. So in in your case also, you'll have to adjust it if you're showing multiple um, multiple instances of. Uh, of products on the same page most of the time I'm assuming you're gonna show just one um, just one product per page or per, per post per blog per whatever you're doing 
let me pause two seconds and, and rearrange this. So I just rearranged the page a little bit, adding a, um, a small style to um, <clears throat> to my three elements here. Uh, basically, what I did is um, the Shopify code I included inside a div uh, that I give it a style of uh, with the uh, width thirty percent and display in line block. <clears throat> I don't recommend you adding a style and, and CSS elements or whatever in the code directly. You should do that in your, uh, your, your style, your CSS file. I'm just doing this uh, for a demonstration purpose, um, but you shouldn't do it this way. <clears throat> so it looks, it, it looks nicer just to test out now the three different types. So the first one was the, the, the pop-up. You're going to have it like this. You can have your selection here to uh, for your variants, <clears throat> and you can click on on buy. And once you have that, you um, you will go to checkout. Nice. It's pretty nice that it's 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 popping up from um, on the same page. So let's close this. The second one was um, was also for uh, to add directly to the cart, and the third was check out directly. So this is it for the buy uh, buy button on on WordPress. Uh, what I recommend you is just test it out, um, see what different options you uh, you like, <clears throat> being the the, the check out the cart or or the pop up. <clears throat> So, um, sorry for my voice, I'm a little bit sick. And um, let's see on a, on a standard website uh, what it will look like. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty similar if you're, uh, if you're familiar with, uh, with HTML. This is a client of mine that I will be working on it. And uh, you can see here we have, uh, we have the same code from, um, we have the same code from Shopify. And let me show you what it looks like. There is a there is a small delay. Um, so what I did in this case, I optimized the speed a little bit and I will show you in the um, next week video how to optimize your um, your page on, on the HTML uh, section if, if you have multiple products. Uh, like in this case, we have 20 different products. Um, so it, it does take a few seconds to load because it's, it's going and it's requesting information from Shopify. So um, I will show you that in, in next week video. But the, the principle is, is the same. Just make sure you, um, you, you select the product you want, customize it how you want it, and the options, colors, text, all of that. Generate your code and then just, uh, just paste it where, uh, where you need it to show. Same thing here. Make sure you, uh, you, you style it properly. <clears throat> using CSS, as you can see here, um, in, in, in your style sheet, you should have in your style sheet, you should have um, <clears throat> what I showed you before, for it to, uh, to have a proper layout. So I hope this makes sense for you. Um, if you have any questions, as usual, uh, don't hesitate, ask them in the comments below. You also have there my Skype, uh, my email, uh, you have my, my Twitter, you have all the information that you need to get in touch with me. <clears throat> so ask your, your, your questions or give me your comments. As usual, don't forget to subscribe. I'm releasing videos like this <clears throat> each week. I hope with a better voice. <laughs> um, so please subscribe and uh, like that you won't miss any content. Thank you. Have a good day.